The third charge is forceful entry into the assembly precincts and mobilization of unlawful riots against the members of the county assembly. The fourth charge is violation of public finance management laws, and the fifth charge is misconduct relating to the nomination of CECs. Preamble. We are asked Article 10 of the Constitution, Section 3 and 16 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012, and Sections 9, 10, and 12 of the Public Office Ethics Act of 2003, to Articles 10, 73, and 75 of the Constitution require state officers at all times, whether in public or private life, to behave in a manner that, among other things, one brings honor to the nation and the dignity to the office that a state officer holds, one, it ensures decisions are not influenced by nepotism, favoritism, or other improper motives. Three, demonstrates discipline and commitment in service to the people. And four, avoids demeaning the office that our officer holds. Articles 10, 232, 235, and 236 of the Constitution in sections 59, 59A, 60, 62, 63, 64, and 65 of the County Governments Act 2012 provide for the values and principles of public service and establish an elaborate framework for the establishment of county public offices and the recruitment, employment, and dismissal of county public officers. Of the County Governments Act and Standing Order No. 65 of the Standing Orders of the Assembly provide for the impeachment of county governors for among other things on gross violation of the Constitution to Gross violation of any other law, three, abuse of office, and four, miscon gross misconduct. Five, the governor has engaged in multiple discreditable acts that severely and collectively amount to gross violation of the Constitution, two, gross violation of various national and county laws. The Assembly resolves to impeach the governor under Article 181 of the Constitution, Section 33 of the County Governments Act and Standing Order Number 65 of the standing orders of the assembly on the foreign grounds. Nepotism, illegal appointments, and law dismissals, and usurpation of the constitutional and statutory functions of county organs. Appointing of the husband to county offices. <laughs>